Hello again, everybody. This is Mr. Noobtube Gamer, and if you're wondering what I have in my hand right here, uh, this is a list. And I'm going to explain to you guys what this list is about and why I decided to make this video. Uh, so this guy, I've already mentioned this in a previous video before, but this guy made a 56 long, 56 minute long video about me, basically exposing me of being a deceptive liar and all these dubious claims about me. You know, trying to expose me like that guy True Gaming Unleashed did a few years ago. Uh, but he utterly failed at it, just like True Gaming Unleashed did. Uh, so, right here, instead of making an hour and a half long video or two hour long video refuting every single thing he said, I just decided to make a list talking about the things that actually were important in the video because most of the other shit was just rambling and, you know, nothing important, just uttering garbage. So, I mean, the stuff on this list were garbage, too, but I picked the most uh, noteworthy garbage that he said and to refute it in a video. Uh, I have nothing to hide, you know, because those are the claims that have been made about me that, that, you know, that I'm hiding so much and I'm lying and shit. Watch the video for yourself. I have nothing to hide. His, his username is Rags or some shit. Watch it. I don't care. Watch it to your heart's content. I don't care. It has like 70 views as of the recording of this video. I don't care if it has 70, 700, 7,000, 7 million. I don't give a shit. It's still wrong. It's still false. And that's why I'm here to make this video. I'm just refuting a few things. Uh, the most noteworthy thing that he's probably ever said. Uh, it, it's it's ridiculous and it's, it's a bit redundant because he said it numerous times. But basically talking about my age and how that's a factor in my opinion on PC gaming. And I'm 15, and I don't know any better, so that's why I have that opinion on PC gaming. No, I actually believe in facts, and that's why I believe that consoles are superior to PC gaming. And to, to correct you, I'm not 15, I'm actually 17, and I'm going to vote for the next election. So, it's just ridiculous claims. It, at least if you're going to make claims, at least make them factual. Because unlike you, I actually base my claims based on facts. So I'm sorry. I think I think the reason why you keep saying, you know, talking about my age and why you think I, you know, it's such a huge factor is that you're just bitter about your own age. You wish you were younger. You know, cuz you probably hate your life right now and you're probably just really 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 bitter right now. And it is what it is. Uh and that's what most of the people who try to criticize people based on their age you know, I thought that the whole age discrimination would end when my voice finally changed back in, like, what, 2012? But no, the age discrimination is going to continue for many years to come, probably. So, that's that. I mean, it just kind of proves that all this guy really does is ramble and doesn't give any actual facts and actual, you know, logic and reasoning by what I just said. Uh... But yeah, he basically made dubious claims about me being deceptive and giving false information, none of which he's proven, and none of the arguments he's had actually has a leg to stand on, so they're not really worth covering. Uh, the guy was actually outright shocked when he discovered I actually have experience with PC gaming. You know, he tried to do his little detective work by going on my Steam account and being, you know, he would have said, well, oh, you only have X amount of hours on PC, so you don't know any better. But he was outright shocked when he found out that I've actually played PC gaming a lot. And I have a lot of experience with PC gaming. So, yeah. I just proved him wrong in that aspect. Uh, and he, I'm just going to make a, you know, talk about a few more things and just wrap it up. Because, like I said, it's just a bit redundant. And most of the claims he's made have no leg to stand on and no actual backing. And no facts, like I have facts. Uh, and this is the, the main PC gamer argument that I just decided to cover because it's just, it, it sounds really ridiculous and really moronic. People who pirate games aren't going to buy the game anyway. Let's put this into perspective, okay? If someone, if you're given the option to have something for free or something for $60, you're telling me that you're going to pick the $60 option? I mean, hell, you got, you talk about how the Steam is a free service, even though it really isn't, which I've talked about, that you really never was properly able to counterclaim. 
uh, but, but Xbox Live is sixty dollars. You're telling me that you'd rather pay sixty dollars for a game than pirate it, because obviously you know you're not you're supposedly not a pirate, right? Uh, so and you you buy your games, I'm assuming, right? So if that is true that you do actually buy your games, then you have no right to complain about Xbox Live because you're picking the the free the free experience versus the paid experience, right? Even though, I mean, let's be real, Xbox Live is $60 and it is better than Steam. And obviously, a pirated game versus a regular game is the same quality-wise, for the most part. I mean, if you get a shitty file, then that sucks for you, but that's what you get for pirating anyway. But... My thoughts on piracy is just as simple as this. It's it's stealing, and that's what that really is all it is. Uh, and people claim that piracy doesn't hurt anybody. Uh, just ask any game developer, and they'll tell you you're wrong. So, I mean, that's just common sense, but common sense doesn't apply to this guy, obviously. Uh, but yeah, I mean, he never really refuted any of my arguments, you know... My argument that PCs are less expensive, you know, when people say PCs are, are less expensive and more powerful than the PS4, there are no such thing. And, uh, you know, the fact that I've said that most PC gamers don't game on powerful PCs, which is based by facts. But you try to say, no, this is wrong and that's wrong without actually backing it up properly. Uh, and last but not least, I'm just going to wrap this up quickly because, like I said, it gets a bit redundant at this point. Uh, claims that Sony and Microsoft are too restrictive and that consoles are closed pa platformers, but he's oblivious to how closed of a platform PC is. Think about it. You have all these different services, EA's, Origin, Ubisoft's Uplay, Valve Steam, you know, it's not even trying to compete with each other. You know the way it works. You know why services such as Origin and Uplay exist, because... EA and Ubisoft don't want to uh, share their profits with Valve, so they make their own services. And you really think that that's not restrictive on the gamers and they're not able to buy their games on Steam? You, you think that's not restrictive at all to have that? You don't think so? Because that seems pretty restrictive to me. So, like I said, it's, you know, the facts, the PC gamers don't like the facts at all. They just hate the facts at all. Right, like if you're a PC gamer and you game on PC and you don't like bother people, whatever. I mean, you like to game on your inferior platform and you leave people alone. That's your prerogative, like I've said in the past. I don't care. But to people who are so smug and arrogant and, you know, try to say that PC gaming is superior to console gaming without actually backing it factually. And even though the facts are on the side of us, the console gamers, that we're actually better and our services are better and we're more skilled than PC gamers, our controllers are more superior over the keyboard and mouse, it's just all the facts are on our side, and this whole PC master race is a joke, it's just a pure joke, so anyway, that's all I gotta say about this, and this is what I think about this PC master race and PC gaming in general. Thank you for watching.